Guy looks incredible. Incredible. I've been training with him for five years. Some of the best lifting I've seen him do. The goals today are 150, 185. Trying to increase to where we can be totaling over 340 by the time we walk into nationals. And that's all gonna be documented. So after we train today, uh, we're gonna be talking about programming pretty specifically and why the dog pack is special the way I do things when it comes to the dog pack and we're gonna break that stuff down on why it's different than pretty much every other program out there after we absolutely pipe some fucking weights. So let's go do that first. If you guys miss Jack 3D, which I know you do, get some Gorilla Mine because it has N-phenethyl dimethylamine citrate in it, which is about as close as you can get to the good 1-3 that used to make us so happy back in the day. And you can use discount code Dozer to get 10% off of that stuff. Don't do it for me, do it for Pib. All Dozer commit, or all Gorilla Mine commission I get will go into her food. So if you want our dog to starve, go somewhere else for your supplements. What is going on with my car? All right, guys. So we are on the way to Max Out Friday. We have a bunch of dogs with us today. We have Jess Franklin, Brittany Brooks. Their boyfriends are here as well. So we're all doing the same stuff today and that's maxing out, which is fun. So it's gonna be a good crew. The goals today are 150, 185. I'm pretty positive I can hit those. We're trying to increase to where we can be totaling over 340 by the time we walk into nationals and that's all gonna be documented. Keep doing what you're doing with this uh, YouTube stuff, guys, because this channel is exploding way faster than I thought. I think every video has gotten 10K so yeah. far. Keep liking, keep commenting. Even if you don't have anything to comment, just comment something, it helps. So after we train today, uh, we're gonna be talking about programming pretty specifically and why the dog pack is special, the way I do things when it comes to the dog pack and we're gonna break that stuff down on why it's different than pretty much every other program out there. Because a lot goes into this. It looks like just a normal program on paper, but there is a ton of thought behind this program, and we're gonna dive into that as deep as we can after we absolutely pipe some fucking weights. So let's go do that first. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Dozer Weightlifting Channel. Dylan's gonna be all serious and trying to like put up a good total. I'll be your guide today. I'll be the entertainment, okay? Bruh! I hit the barbell. All right. I did 20 kg and I know I'm gonna snatch 151. Only $100, bro, you better empty your bank account if I could even snatch deadlift 151 today. One thing out there that you guys should take note of, Dylan works up pretty fucking fast. It's a 99.999% chance that he snatches more than you. And if he's able to finish snatch, finish his snatch session before you, that means you're training too fucking slow. Likely you should be training faster. It's so noticeable. It's not just extensions, how fast you can extend and flex. Yeah, we're good. You'll see the difference between shape right here, this rep right here. Yeah! We are so in. We've been back, but we're in now. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta decide to make it. That's what the boy says. Oh, hey! 
If he can make this first shot, it'd be so great. So fucking dialed if he makes this first try. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! But you know everybody around here, bitch, got guns. Hey! See ya! So that went well. We had one miss on the day. It was like a fluke 140 that I let drift behind me, but- It didn't happen, I'm not putting it in the video. No misses today. It was a very easy session. <laughs> I missed 140, it drifted behind me. And I knew it was like basically make, I just jump forward, which I never do. So I was like, let's go up. 45, best snatch I've done over 40, maybe ever. And then 50 was right in the slot, it was perfect. So didn't waste any energy there. So I got a bunch of energy and we have clean and jerks. I'll start those in like 10 minutes, but Part one of three is correct. We've snatched 150, check that box, and we have 185 clean and jerk, 335 total. So all we need is 185, and we'll be good. Guy looks incredible. Incredible, I've been training with him for five years. Some of the best lifting I've seen him do. he's got to clean this shit first. Meaning like, you got to act as if the clean is like percentage work. You can't attack it like, oh, I got to, I got to hit this whole clean and jerk. There's two steps. And if you forget about the first one, you might miss the first one. He's got to treat it like it's, he's doing reps of cleans so that when he stands it up, he has enough energy to fucking crush the jerk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Big clean! Yes, that's it. He's got it. Yeah! Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly it. Fucking yes, dude. So dialed. We are so dialed. <laughs> Fuck off. All right. Last week, we did 183. And this week, we decided to do 185. So I got to change my number on the board. <laughs> to 185. And we're just gonna keep cranking these up every week. Next week, we're gonna change this one and this one. And maybe next week, the heaviest clean and jerk ever done in this gym, or by a gym member, it's 188. And we just did 185 real easy today, so. 90 next week is a possibility. This is a Gloria de Leon. And this one was the smallest because it's really hot outside. And I don't wanna rip a whole fat cigar. Let's talk about programming and what makes the dog pack unique. When it comes to weightlifting program, there's, I'd say 90% of the programs out there are built to keep you entertained, keep you healthy, and keep you coming back. That's how a good business is run. But with the dog pack, my goal is to make you better at weightlifting. So it's not always going to be the most fun shit. It's going to be pretty repetitive. It's going to be difficult. There's gonna be a lot of work in there. But I'm programming that because I want the people doing my program to see results. And if I didn't want that, you'd be doing this fun gimmicky stuff that you'd be doing these weird complexes, but we're doing weightlifting. And the goal of training weightlifting is to get better at weightlifting, not to have a fun complex that you PR every once in a while and complain on Instagram about how hard things are, blah, blah, blah. 
if you're on the dog pack, it's called the dog pack for a reason because you literally have to have that dog mentality and kind of be okay with putting up with some hard shit. I'd say the dog pack is kind of like the reality check of all programs because it's exactly what you need to get better, but it's not easy. And it kind of makes you realize that if you want to get really good at the sport and see progress and make the progress you've been wanting, you're going to have to do some hard shit that you don't necessarily want to do every single day. There's going to be Plenty of days on the dog pack to where you don't want to go into the gym. But yeah, if you are wanting to work hard and you want to see progress, you're tired of doing these programs, expecting them to give you the results you want, uh, say they make your technique better, say they make your movement better, but there's programs out there that will do that that will not make that top number go up. They will not give you new PRs. The dog pack is designed to put you through the hard shit. That way you can eventually hit those PRs. And it's a lot of stuff people don't want to do. So if you're tired of just staying in the same place and you're down to hurt in the gym and struggle a little bit and actually make progress, then it's the program that you need. And if you want to go into the gym and just have fun, you're not too worried about your PRs going up or anything like that, then it's not for you. Programs are not for everyone. There's different stuff that everyone needs. The dog pack is for those people that want to get better at weightlifting. And for right now, the first month is five bucks for everybody. And I'm keeping that up for, I don't know how long, but it's up right now. If you want to get on the dog pack, dozerweightlifting.com, go to shop, dog pack's the first result. It's not going to show the discount right away, but when you go to checkout, it's going to give you that $20 off the first month. So you can get a whole month of training for $5. So you might as well do it. But yes, if you are on the dog pack and you have a meet coming up, let us know. All you have to do is shoot me a message on True Coach, and I can go in and plug in a taper week, and that's going to get you set up to compete. On this program, you're never really going to be out of one or at max shape. We're hitting heavy lifts every single training session, so you're a taper week away from having a good meet. Just shoot me a message on True Coach. I'll plug that in for you when you need it, and you'll be good to go. Because the YouTube has been doing so well, Barbell Apparel has reached out to me, and we worked out a deal, so I'm going to be sponsored by them. If you guys can go and support me by buying from my collection on there, I'll have a link soon. I don't have one yet. I don't have any info on that yet, but be on the lookout because the more you guys support that, the more it solidifies the fact that they made a good choice taking a chance on me because the YouTube has done so well in such a short period of time. They were like, we want to get this guy and they're taking a chance. So I want them to have the payout that they want. So if you're looking for gym clothes or clothes that fit a fit person's body that you can wear, out when you do not gym stuff they have that too they're well known for that their stuff is awesome so go to barbell apparel i'll have a link for my collection up soon and just support as much as you can if you're looking for clothes just look there first and if you don't see anything you like don't get it but if you do support your boy because you guys have helped me out a lot and what can i give them and I'm trying to make this as entertaining as I can. So I'm gonna keep making it entertaining, keep putting as much work as I can into these YouTube videos. If you guys could do me the solid of looking at Barbell Apparel first before you look anywhere else,